Hello. <laughs> My name is Andrew. <laughs> Please make your acquaintance. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's an interesting thing. Like, um, we're talking about bioenergetics today. Um, and I think like, in, our, in our culture, in our society, we have that, uh, the, the etiquette and like the formalness and stuff. We're con- constrained to behaving in certain ways. You know? And you know, having a formal introduction yeah. and being on computers and typing like this and being constrained and contained. So that's, that's exactly what we're talking about here with bioenergetics. A, yeah, a way of um, breaking out, breaking out of those holding patterns, neurotic holding patterns. Yeah, just the um, yeah, the typical things that we do, yeah. routine stuff mm. that we're, we're kind of stuck in behaviorally, um, you know, mental loops, whatever it is. Yeah, and um, yeah, connecting in with ourselves and all our our parts of ourselves so, that, we, that are just perhaps buried, hidden, repressed so deep inside us and um, just at a, a safe place, you know, but never, never really actually dug into and shaken up and light being able to be shed in that place and flow being ha- able to happen through those different aspects of us, ourselves. Yeah, so it's, a, it's a way of um, exploring into that um, in a kind of a, a different kind of manner. It doesn't have to be too probing with questions and things like that. It's just shake it and um, whatever is being held, exactly. it starts to be unraveled a bit and it's, you know, it's softened the outside of that. I like what it's, I like you saying about um, you know, understanding ourselves. And I think that's what it's about. Like, like, uh, we have so many ambitions in our culture and pressure on us to do certain things. So I think that's true, like understanding what our limitations are, you know, how our body wants to move and, and where there are like, blockages or you know, points of discomfort or whatever, just really getting in tune with that and allowing ourselves to like, as you say, like break it open and, and allow flow in. Yeah. 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 Um, what's your, if you were to define bioenergetics, what, what would you, how would you do it? I think, yeah, it's just getting your biology in motion, so the energy, I suppose, into your biology. I suppose that's what bioenergetics is. It's, it's, um, but you've got to do it in a way that just shakes it and starts it to, to move and, you know. Yeah, uh, exploring patterns that you don't normally explore, ways that you move you don't normally move, breathe and bend and uh, exploring like the both the masculine and the feminine sort of thing. So the opening, but also the the tantrums and the anger and the frustrations and yeah. these kind of things that yeah. perhaps that we um you know we repress exactly. We, we kind of, we've talked about um. Uh, you know, massage therapy and how it can release. Uh, I've, I've spoken with Aaron a lot before. He's talked about um, emotions coming up for people and different experiences that, that come up when all you're doing is physically pressing on their body. Um, so I think we harbour a lot of um, emotional, spiritual, whatever things that happen in our lives, we, we kind of store it in our, in our biological form in, in, in the lowest ground form. So I think um, psychotherapy, if you want to heal someone, we want to see, we have to, we have to see people as whole beings and realize that there's a connection between the, the physical and the mental and the emotional and the spiritual life that we have. And it's, it's, uh, it's not, you know, I go to a therapist and, and have a you know, clinical treatment, cognitive behavioural therapy and, and just, you know, it's just worrying about the, the mind and, and theoretical stuff. And it's not just going, going to the gym or, um, you know, doing straight physical therapy either. It's, a, it's something that bridges the gap and um, it's, it's, it's hard to even talk about it really because 
it's so kind of broad, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel we both want to like, and it really is an experiential thing. It's it's something you just gotta have a crack at. You know, try moving the body and and um, following a bit of a loose um, sort of guideline system to do it, but then exploring where you need to go with it. Like if you feel like you need to you know open up and laugh and, and things like that yeah. or you have a tantrum you got just got to go there and go through that and see what it feels like it's it's like that child like thing where they that they struggle to articulate and express things but it's embodied it's sort of yes. stuck in their yes. in their tissues in their their fibers and in the fascia which is where all this cortisol sort of gets stuck so this that's a physical representation of uh, reinforced emotional experience or a really impactful emotional time mm -hmm. and where you don't necessarily understand why that's happened to you you know and and then you you might repress it and then but you've been acting out all your life about around an experience around the trying way trying to heal it from external from external yeah. kind of way yeah and you just don't really understand where that's necessarily coming from, that behaviour or that that pattern that you're, you're always in. And then this is a way to unlock that, not necessarily childhood, but it could be behaviour or stuff that's... Well, we have been doing that. We have been doing the uh, different different types of exercises. So like the tantrum, yeah. I guess that's the emotional aspect. So like temper tantrums going, like, oh, I don't want to go to hay. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah, and then doing the smiling and laughing, and, ah, yeah, yeah. Even though it's like force, it's still getting us to um, to go there and and just like a massage, just like an emotional massage, if you like, it's just going in and working it out. And if the, if we do have blockages there, it just kind of gets in there and shakes them up. Yeah, yeah. So we've been doing um, that emotional stuff. We've also been doing uh, hitting. Um, you know, jumping, posturing, a lot of opening, opening the heart space, opening, you know, breathing, opening out throat as well. Yes, yeah, yeah, breath, so breathing, a lot of breathing, opening, opening, opening our mouth, shaking, yeah, shaking, just yeah. and also trying to move in, in uh, patterns that we don't normally do. So not yeah. normal. <laughs> you know, I'm allowed to move this way and this way, but just like just. Shake in the face. So what I really like is um, like this sort of stuff, like getting getting right down, like really unlocking the hips. Like I feel, as an adult, I feel like this this part of my body has been stuck yeah. for you know, five last five years or whatever. And I'm just sitting at desks and doing that normal stuff, but just like being down. And look, we've been doing a bit of. Cap <laughs> capoeira or just yeah. just like free running and like darting and dodging and that sort of stuff I think that's a good that's, that's been awesome for me because I just feel so much more kind of loose and agile yeah but um, like, as we we're saying you can really extend this to whatever you want can you? yeah 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 and it's those childlike patterns yeah. the primal patterns that we know. just don't do it we don't do this sort of weird shit you know yeah. move that bodies around yeah but we do when we're like a, a kid and we're on the, on the plate, we're on the, the jungle gym or whatever you call it, monkey bars and we're swinging and we're moving all these different ways and uh, you don't see them with any mm. physical problems to yeah, yeah, yeah. The kids don't harbour anything either, they're just like no. free, yeah, yeah. open. Yeah, the original movement patterns are there, you know, to, to squat and to pick things up the right way and they don't have fear around that. Yes. They don't sit all the time in, in chairs and you know, bound up to computers and things like that. And yeah. One of the things I was thinking about when you were talking before, like even if it is a, like a, a contrived laugh or a, a tantrum and things like that, it just shows that whenever we do have um, a strong emotional experience, we have a posture and a movement that goes with that. Yes. So if we can recreate that that posture of a yes. laugh or tantrum, yes, we go there. Opening, yeah, that's right. It gets us to it's go a gateway to yeah. 
to get us into that that mood that we're in so we can heal that part of us yeah yeah it takes us to that space yes when we created that perhaps holding that solidified tissue in our body yes that, and we need to crack that open in order to heal it yeah to, we have to actually go into it if we don't, never go into it we can never heal it yeah we can never understand if we never go into it so it's a lot, all about getting some understanding of ourselves that emotion that's you know special right. to us we, exactly we all play our own games I know, you know, um, cognitively speaking. we all play our own rationalizations and we make excuses or we do certain things and play certain tricks on ourselves and that's just a mental habit that we, that we fall into yeah. um, stories stories isn't it it's stories that's narratives you know yeah. this is this is my problems and my life and my story my car not being dealt <laughs> yeah. you know, whatever it is yeah yeah exactly we've got that that thing and if, even if we go into that it's like, Oh, poor me! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And going to that, like we're, we're going the there. Posture, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> it's like, oh, I don't have that anymore because I've just fucking got it out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's so interesting when you are in these sort of postures, you can't see upside. You know, because yeah. it's sort of literally you're looking down, you're in. You know, there's you can't see the well, benefit or the exactly the right. opportunity. You know, in a, a certain event yes. or someone yes doing you it's injustice. It's, it's bi-directional. So, and, and I say bi-directional for body mind, but it's much more than just physical, mental. But that's a good example. Like, if, if you if you try and think of positive things and a bit aware of how you're thinking and you have some cognitive kind of um, control, then you can start to feel better physically because of the mental state, but it's also in reverse. I've talked about this before, like standing in the power postures, like standing like this and doing this, the uh, done tests on, you know, people going into interviews and, and, other, and other things like that. And, and we, we think better when we get out, when we go into those postures. So it's, there's definitely that relationship there. And this is, uh, yeah. No different. Yeah. And I think it's it's really important that we explore both that that closed up anger type one so we can kind of understand perhaps where that's coming <coughs> from. But then if we do the open, the breathing, <coughs> the opposite of that posture, then we're, perhaps we can see the, the benefit, the opportunity and the, the reason why we had that frustration so yes. we can balance it. So with that, like the, a problem, the solution, you know, the... Yes, the, the yin and yang, the, yeah, the yeah, opposition. Yeah. The opposition. drawbacks, the benefits, we can actually start to integrate both sides. It's like, you know, contraction and, and expansion. Yeah. It's like getting on both sides to really yeah. concertina it and get yeah, it out. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love that actually. We've been doing some, you know, really opening stretches. Like the other night we did did that, 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 and then we went to the fold over, like the, yeah. the hunched over position, and you yeah. feel like headed to the, I, I love that, like just going from one extreme to another, yeah. and really embodying it, mm. you know? And also the, the vocal, like if I just cough then, it makes me think, you know, if we're in an office or something, we, we, even even when we cough, like, I think that's like something coming up, something that needs to be cleared, everything I believe that happens is part of a process, you know, whether it's mental or physical. And uh, yeah, even that, we tr we restrict it. You know, yeah, we, we're not allowed to like, no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get it out. We can't copy in public, it's, yeah. it's rude. You know, it's, yeah. it's annoying. You've got it's, these, these etiquettes, yeah. these rules. Yeah, and we probably are bugged by people that sniff and cough and yeah. burp and fart. And, Expressing, you know, the stuff that's in their body, they're releasing that out. Yeah, exactly. But, but that's yeah, socially, uh, that's not. But in India, I know they all spit. And yeah, it's, it's, it's all normal for them, you know. So yeah, yeah. So I know Elliot Hulse talks about the um, being a being a good boy. Yeah. Yeah, the whole thing of uh, yeah, going along with that that etiquette of doing the right thing. And, he, he, the way he explains it, it's like, you don't need to be a good boy, just 
Just, yeah, you can, you can do whatever you want, express, yeah, because, express. Uh, and if we didn't live in such a um, uh, sophisticated society with so much constraint and control and etiquette, we, we probably wouldn't need this stuff as much, just like, um, you know, in the, in the culture we're living in, with the food that we have and the physical regimes that we have. We need to go to the gym, we need to have a diet because it's out of whack. It's the same thing with this. Like we probably wouldn't need this as much, but uh, if we were living naturally according to our biology, but we're just not. So I think this is a really good, um, a really good way of compensating for that. And it's uh, again, it's, it's, I'm I'm struggling to, to verbalize it because it's so broad, you know. Um, but yeah. It's just, it does so many things. But for me, it's, it's getting over inhibitions as well. Yep. That whole process of, of letting, letting go and, and ha- having a group, having a group do it is actually, for one thing, it it's, could be encouraging, but also you have that pressure of like, oh, am I allowed to just cut sick and, and let go here? Yep. And getting over that, I think, yep. is of something in itself. Yeah, being yeah. self-conscious. And yeah, and just that. going, Gives a shit. Yeah, yeah, ah! yeah. <laughs> and yeah, I think there's something to that. Yeah. I mean, there, there's something cathartic and, and healing about going. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah we, we need that. We all have that as part of us, and it's it's not about um, uh, reprimanding and, and you know this punitive kind of thing. It's about re- recognizing and acknowledging all that stuff in us. And um, and allowing it to process. You know, we need all these parts. The, the part of us that goes, no, yeah, or the part of us that goes, ah. These are very important parts of us, and they're aspects of us that, that need to be integrated. You know, as a whole human, and, and and you know, made to work in synergy. You know, and they're a bit disjointed. They're a bit dysfunctional. And it's about like getting it all to work and, and opening the floodgates and getting it all to mix around and then and then yeah we can manage it better. Yeah. Yeah, that's I don't know, it's one way to, to look at it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, broad stuff. Right? Yeah, yeah. But you you just gotta explore it. Um, what's what's your experience of it so far? Yeah, I when I first started doing it, um, I really felt like a weight had just gone off my shoulders, like at night time, like when, uh, like long after the session, like hours after the session, there was just such a, a weight lifted off the shoulders. Like I, I hadn't really- I love loosening the shoulders. Yeah. Like when yeah. we've been doing the whole- <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I, the breath work. I, I kind of, I felt like from just going like this a lot and just trying to get my, there's sort of a soreness through my neck but I also felt a raspiness through my throat and I had a cough, I had bad breath. Yeah. When it, cause it was sort of, I felt yeah, like, I, smelt it. Yeah, it was, <laughs> I think there's some rotten shit coming off my yeah. head, off my chest. That, some demons that, coming out. Yeah, around. but it had, I got into the, right into the outer regions of the, the lungs, you know, just to expand it. And it sort of hadn't been expressed, hadn't been opened. So that, that crap that had just been sitting there for years, the physical crap was actually representation of stuff that I hadn't expressed and opened and yeah. got off my chest, I, you know, verbalized, articulated. Yes. That kind of thing. And I didn't actually have to articulate it in English words. It was expressed yes. through breath and opening and just it's, it's shaking. Almost, for me, I feel like the physical body, the physical form is like a metaphor for what's going on in all the other aspects of, of the, the being, you know? Um, so yeah, we, we have, if we have restriction up here, it's because we, we may need to vocalize a bit more. If there's, um, you know, some, some problem in our chest, like maybe our, our you know, obviously we need to breathe heart more, but the heart, the heart, exactly. Or down here, we're not feeling that good. Like maybe it's a, it's a, it's a gut, or, you know, we're not following our intuition or we're not opening ourselves up in that area or whatever. So it's processing, pro- so processing, digesting. Digesting. What are we I not digesting that. in life? What are we not digesting in life or are we not allowing to, to move through us? Yeah, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, it's got to pass out, hasn't it? That's digestion. Yeah. You take the goodness out. What are you? What are you, you not letting yourself off. see? What, yeah. what are you not letting yourself get out? So yeah, yeah we it might come up as like redness, so as you say, like block or restriction. But um, yeah, it's going to be personalised, and, and this comes back to that um, that whole understanding our own body and understanding what it means for us because someone can have like a similar symptom but it's, it can have a variation between, from person to person so i think um you know this we've got a, a spiritual movement happening and there's, there's um there's lots of different ideas coming out but i think the, the true spirituality is really just getting in touch with you know, source or but it's really a connection between life it, itself and that and us which is basically the same thing <laughs> you yeah. know that's separated but but connected and it's and it's just about you know understanding that a bit more and i think it's a really good way to to, to get into that yeah that makes sense yeah yeah. I think uh, one of the really great things about our us doing our bioinjects, we've been doing it outside in oh, their feet man. on wet grounds, middle of winter, and um, so their feet <laughs> it really makes you connect in with the earth mm. and the atmosphere as well, like the cold atmosphere, the rain. It was beautiful last night. The rain coming down on us, looking up, opening up. Man, yeah. the water it was like it was you know a movie type of thing it yeah. was meant to kind of come in and wash us yeah cause... as we were trying to open up our hearts and our lungs and our breath and our throat you know it was sort of there's all this so many things going on yeah there. i mean it's hard yeah. to even as we say nut it down but yeah. yeah you're connecting to the earth and you know you can talk about well, we're electrical beings, we've yep. got charge to us and yep. grounding is, is enabling the ions to move through and Yeah, from the atmosphere to the earth and back out. So yeah. It's just that channel is just open. open. Yeah. So that and full release. That, that flow, you love that word. Flow, yeah. That's exactly, allows yeah. that flow to come through yeah, yeah. while you're, you know, opening up and, mm. and processing. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And then we're doing physical exercise and exertion as well, which is, you know, yeah. Again, another way to stimulate, <laughs> stimulate things and yeah, work through things. So, yeah. There's a lot of a lot What's things going on. Yeah. Look, I'll just go on stagnation again. Like, if something's stagnant, if it's blocked, it's jammed, it's all the molecules are kind of jammed together and they're collecting more and more debris, so to speak, there's just not a chance for that to be expressed and to be healed. But when there's flow that, that melts and there's flow through that area again, then it's just got a chance. It's just stagnation and flow. It's just such an awesome concept to kind of have a think about and wrap your head around because that's just the, the essence of life, really. So Change. Yeah. It's, one of it's always transforming. Universe. Everything's always transforming. Yes. And um, like traffic is a really good one to think about and like everyone understands. So if you're, you're cruising down the freeway and then all of a sudden it comes to a, you're slowing right down, then it comes to you're just crawling and then you're just crawling there for 10 minutes and it's just stuck. And then you get to the point where the stagnation has started, the pain has started and it's just someone changing a tire or had a little bingle, you know what I mean? So that's, that back here is not the, the source of the pain is a bit of pain there, but it's sort of a ripple on effect as yes. well. So it's sort of like when it's, things are flowing, it's all good and you're all happy and you're all getting where you want to go. There's one chink in the chain yeah. that affects the whole body. It ripples on and then if it's a freeway, you're going to have more congestion in the back streets as well because people are going to be trying to avoid that pain, that accident or whatever. So they're going to shoot off the exits before and and try and get to where they're going, you know, quicker yeah, type of yeah, thing. Yeah. So those back streets are gonna have more congestion, more that's a great analogy. More traffic in them. You could take that, you could even take it to psychological stuff as well. I mean yeah. it works in exactly the same way. Yeah. And this this problem, yeah. this crisis. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you take all these detours to try and mm. get around it. it. To get around it or yeah. to resolve it. Yeah, yeah. But it's about it's, I, I, guess, it. I guess that comes back to um, a word that I love, which is awareness, you know, bringing, and, and honesty with that as well. Like, 
true awareness. Mm. Um, I think to, we, we need a, a, a level of honesty to be able to truly see where we're at. And, and there's a lot of um, new age talk, especially around meditation and mindfulness and spirituality and that sort of stuff. And everyone says these buzzwords, but there's a difference between articulating a word and actually experiencing it and embodying it as well. Um, but I think we need we need to be honest with ourselves, like who we are as a person and, um, and where we're at and what's going on for us. And, um, and also like what our strengths and weaknesses are, where our blockages are, and just be brutally honest. Like sometimes we do things that, that, are, that are kind of bad for us and, and sometimes our body's not working in the right way. And the sooner we can go, okay, what's not going on, what's really going on here? What's really going on for us? Um, and then just processing, allowing that, that flow to come back in and that, that area to heal. The quicker we get back on track and heal our bodies and our minds. Yeah, so I, I don't know where where that came from, but it's yeah, it's about um, yeah, being truthful, truthful mm-hmm. and honest. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Do we want to uh, turn over a break or have a part two or? Keep going. Yeah, alright. Well, let's have an intermission. We continue.